picture. Or let me crop the photo. I'm recording. Thing sleeps a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, try sitting up with him. Maybe he needs to be woken up again. Yeah, I'm recording in portrait mode, so you know, I'm trying to keep you in frame. This thing sleeps 15 times a minute. <laughs> this thing is a cat. <laughs> I guess sleep again. Oh, you're supposed to rub it when he's paused. Okay. Thought that you were supposed to tap it. <laughs> Do you need to rub it more? Because of the fact that it's going to sleep? You're just like, why do you care more about that thing? He like, looks like it's a little face. Okay, we get it. You like pecking it there. <laughs> and just think, that complicated electronic shell probably isn't going to be good for anything after it hatches. Beak, yay, Hatchimal Squid.
getting really good at doing that one. Yeah. That one spot. It probably semi-randomizes its pecking location. Okay, we get it. You're pecking there. Just think, Lex, this is basically a Furby, but slower. It's not a Furby, it's adorable. <laughs> How dare you call it a Furby. It's not going to eat you alive in your sleep. Look, I'm sorry Zuloft Eater of Souls scared you when you were two. But Furbies are cute, too. At least the original ones. The ones with the electronic wow. eyes are just like, what? Why? I'm trying to hold on to you. Stop pecking at my hand. It hungers. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Good peck, little thing. There are going to be all the pieces of eggs that go flying. <laughs> that was some good distance. <laughs> the dog was like, what? I can imagine that in Gurr's mouth if he had been over here. This is so <laughs> yeah, it would have been less what than what? Wake up. Oh, it's awake. It kind of sounds like a, kind of sounds like a, um, gosh, one of those things that are like the guinea pigs that are like the wheel. Zuzu pets. Ah. It sounds like a Zuzu pet. Hi. Oh, oh yeah, it's a cross between a Furby and a disco ball. <laughs> Come on, wake up. Hey, we get it. You're pecking there. Oh, it's about to launch that out. Oh, it's about to launch that piece out, too. This one's the blue and green one. All right, I can see it. Fail. Oh, it's picking a new spot now. Stop pecking there. You already launched that piece out. Like I said, it probably semi randomizes it. You know, if I find Zuloth, we're going to have to put it in front of one of these. Yes. Yes, we are. One of these? Does that mean that I have more? Well, okay, we'll have to put it in front of this one. Well, I might... Or whichever one just happens to be handy at the time. I assume this one. The point is, I wish to observe... Furby Hatchimal interaction. Just watch. They probably made it so that it has like something that like it has like this special feature. If you put it by a Furby, how weird would that be? Yeah. Well, Furbies used to communicate by infrared uh, interaction because like they could talk to each other. Because that that, that little that little, little flower thing. right that little flower looking design thing that was right here on them, yeah. uh, it was an infrared communicator. So, if you pointed them at each other, they could communicate. So they would make their little, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna destroy you on your sleep noises? Of course. 
I mean, that's obviously the noise that a Furby would make, right? Yeah, the the year the year that they came out, they were that year's Hatchimal. Except for like way more terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it'd be kind of funny if they had to issue a safety recall because of that, like, <laughs> like you know, kid shoves face right at the Hatchimal. I can see that happening. Like, look, it's Hatch- Ah, oh, my eye! Why did you pause while your beak was showing? This is quite the process. It takes like half an hour. <laughs> You're saying that it randomizes it. That, that's my guess, is that it's semi-randomized. Probably to draw out the experience rather than just going peck, 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 peck right around. Because then th that would be over in like two and a half minutes. Actually, it doesn't peck that hard. Well, it pecks as hard as it's programmed to. And maybe it also randomizes peck strength. Yeah, it's like some of them tends to and the egg piece is flying. Feel how weird the egg feels. It's like squishy. That's neat. I dig it. Don't peck my hand. Yeah, I can still see them, like, I can kind of see them making, like, a safety thing for hatchimals. Like, wear eye protection when hatching? Or just, no idiots. Well, they can put that on any box of anything. Remember, Lex, I've seen instructions on a box of toothpicks. Well, that's because, like, you could stab your mouth with them. I mean, if you can stab feet, then you can stab mouth. Mm -hmm. Well, gosh. yeah, but the stabbing the foot wasn't really through use so much as you not picking them up. Wasn't it, Lex? I didn't do it. Exactly. Look at that. Stop pecking there. Uh, now it seems to have a seems to have a port. <laughs> now it can stick its rifle out and shoot incoming Germans. Zuzu pet noise right there. That, yeah. that was cute. It's like they put a Zuzu pet noise into that because that sounds the exact same when a Zuzu pet says go. Do you like to try and peck my hand? If you get it, you're there. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can see its actual eyes. Aww. Baby, okay, no, you're there. Come on, you need to back like right there. Like you almost got it.
look at that. Its beak actually pokes out. Well, no, that is kind of necessary when hatching. For any egg-based animal, whether real or mechanical. Platypus. Hmm? Whether real or a platypus. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Platypuses are real. No. And I know, give me the rainbow eyes. You're almost, you're hatching, we get it. Are you stuck? Don't pick my finger, please. It's as stuck as it chooses again. to be. Hmm. Yeah, I think you need to rub it again. Yeah, I think you need to rub it again. Wake sick. up! There you go. Oh, maybe we're going to be green Hatchimals. Oh, oh. Not quite yet. I know. It just got, like, really close right then. Here, Lex, lower your, lower your legs so I can actually film. Put, like, right there. He's lazier than Gur when we first got him. Yeah, he was cute though. Yes. Still is, but not as cute. Hey. Still a puppy, just not a fat, stubby, stubby again. puppy. Wake up. We need to find something random to talk about while hatching this thing. Like, Lex, don't lean on your mother. No, it's not. It's not that. It's just the 92 pounds of pressure okay. that goes into the one spot in her elbow and into my one spot in my leg. Which hurts, by the way. Okay. Wake the little fucker up. Rub it. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, I just need to touch his feet. <laughs> don't need to do that. Click, click, right there. You're gonna put right there. No, not there, right there. This thing needs to pick like right there. That. Look at that shell. It's asleep again. You need to rub it. It's not asleep. It is. I want to see if it's going to launch this piece out. <laughs> Don't do it in your sleep. Are you going to rub it now so it wakes up? Yeah, I am rubbing it. No, it's not a sleep. Wake up. I already know what one you are. Is it registering that it's supposed to be asleep? Like, or that it's supposed to be hatched and... Would it be trying to peck out if it was already hatched? Yeah, it must have some code that detects if it's still in the egg. It even has a code that says if... Um, if you try peeling the egg off yourself, the shell, and then it'll tell you it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Can you, like, catch right there? See that? That's the only spot that it needs to be like. <laughs> Bad Hatchimal! Hey, don't hit your Hatchimal. It's Hatchimal abuse. <laughs> I just tapped it. 
catch my feature. That wasn't nice. It's a baby. It's got to learn not to. And it can't see. So. Well, yes, it can. Well, it can't see outside the shell. Yep. Yep. Do that. Take it out close. Yep. It's falling asleep again. That's hot. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, oh. That's one of the spots. No, don't. That's not one of the spots. Whoa. Stop trying to pick my hat. It's there. <laughs> so cute and stuffy. Pick up. You sound like a Zuzu pet hack hole. You don't have a name yet. Yeah, Furbies actually came with a name pre-programmed. They'd say, Me! Insert name here. And then, it's like, okay, well, what's your name? And I, But yeah, I thought May May sounded kind of lame, so I named mine Zuloth Eater of Souls. Granted, you couldn't teach it to say that, but, you know... That's what its real name was. Why did you name it that? Because you don't like the Furbies? No, I just thought the factory name it came with sounded lame. I thought my Furby deserved something better. Oop, I think it's falling asleep again. Oh, 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 just click right there and you'll be out. Are you on a schedule? Well, I was just wondering, you know, because going to my sister's. When are we going there? I don't know. Check the temperature, check the weather after this. It needs to pack like right there. Do you see that? Because like it's a pig. It's almost off. <laughs> no, not right there. Right there. <laughs> not there. There. A <laughs> big again. There you go. It was Zuzu Pat, are you made by the same people? Did they have leftovers? Zuzu I don't know, hand me the box. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is my Hasbro, I think. I'm not looking right now, you can just leave. And I believe Hasbro did also make the Furby. Oh no, those are by Tomy. Cute. <laughs> A little bit closer. Yeah. Hot rules. Listen. Can you hear me? Are you listening? <laughs> Just one spot. Man, you weren't kidding when you said this was supposed to take about a half hour. You're free, but you're just kind of annoying because you weren't listening. <laughs> just like Gur. Oh, just like Gur. I'm gonna call you Gur. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh. 
and Cookie has fallen asleep. Just like my hat trouble is all I'm doing. <laughs> Do you see this? One tiny little spot. You wake up. Yes. Yes. Oh. How do you how do you do it now that you got that off? It's still trying to get out of its egg. What do you do next? Do you take him out of there or do you let him do it himself? Does it realize it's free? They have this thing on its head. Maybe you touch it or push it down or something? I don't know. Or take it out and then... She did take it out. Did touch it? Maybe pet the top of his head. Here, let me read this. When your hatch ball is hatched, it will probably not listen to you. Because it's gonna be annoying like that. <laughs> yeah, look at that. All of that is just so that its eyes look creepy. I don't know. Can you fall asleep? Hmm. Are you supposed to take the rest of the egg apart now? No. Huh. Maybe it's not ready to come out of its egg yet. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah. There's no egg left. Oh yeah, you're thinking it might be sensing that something's in the way. Excuse me, I'm holding it again. Can I hear Google? How to tell if how to get it hatchable out of egg once hatched? Lex, hand me the box. Box double. Um, yeah. Break you free. Oh! What? Before I can hatch, you must play with me in my egg. Ah! That's hard to do when it comes to the Well, no, I think that's actually the stage she did. Pet head, squeeze belly, or tilt if its eyes are green. Because uh, this is the chart for what color its eyes Attach are. Its belly. What? Attach its belly and it's not. Oh, you squeeze its 
belly to wake it up. Squeeze the It is awake. Hmm. Yeah, white is going to sleep. Blue is... Or teal is press and hold my belly after I say hello. Hi. Oh, that's not a dig. Oh, it says to remove the plastic around its wings. Ah! It says when the way is clear, pull me out of my egg. Oh, remove the plastic. So you can remove them out of the zig after it's clear. Look at it. <laughs> it won't hold still to get the plastic.